Jordan is the country with the world's smallest non-zero crude oil production. According to the EIA, in 2018 Jordan's crude oil production was 22 barrels of crude oil per day, which is enough to satisfy the need of 537 average cars. In 2013, Tesla delivered 22,442 electric cars. The 22,442 combustion engine cars that the Teslas replaced were previously using about 919 barrels of crude oil per day, which is approximately equal to the combined oil production of Jordan, Morocco, Slovakia, Tajikistan and Georgia, the five countries with the smallest non-zero oil production. Between 2008 and 2014, Tesla delivered 59,197 electric cars cumulatively, enough to displace the cumulative crude oil production of the seven countries with the smallest non-zero oil production, the five from before plus Kyrgyzstan and Barbados. On screen right now is a map of this. The countries in light grey are non-oil producing countries. The countries in green are the countries with the lowest crude oil production whose cumulative crude oil production has been displaced by Tesla's cumulative vehicle deliveries from the company's first delivery in 2008 to 2014. And in dark grey are the other oil producing countries. This is definitely a convoluted way of visualizing it, but what's cool about it is that this is a way to compare Tesla's impact to the magnitude of the problem in a way that produces a visualization on which you can actually see something. And here's what I mean by that, on screen right now is a chart showing global crude oil production and crude oil demand displaced by Tesla's cumulative vehicle production from the company's first delivery up to each year thereafter. And this chart on screen isn't broken, this is literally what the chart looks like. There's just nothing to see here. But if we put it on a map, we can see it and we can even see it animated. A couple of details about this map. It's based on crude oil production in 2018. So if your favorite oil producing country isn't featured, it's probably because their production comes in the form of other liquids, such as natural gas condensates, which are featured as oil in some datasets, but are not crude oil. I've chosen 2018 because it was the year with the highest crude oil production for which we have data so far, but this might change in the future. I've made assumptions about fuel efficiency and refinery efficiency and you can see the details in the description. I've also assumed a 15 year average life for the cars, which probably should be higher but it's not super impactful anyway. Tesla isn't the only company making electric cars, but the data for total electric cars is a bit more difficult to come by. Thankfully though, a good rule of thumb has always been that Tesla's electric vehicle market share has always been around 20%, so by extrapolating that, we can generate a map that's fairly accurate. I'm pretty sure the real data does exist though, somewhere behind the paywall, so if anyone has access to it, you can feel free to leave it in the comments, and I'll feature it when I update this map in the future. I'll be improving and updating this visualization as time goes on and if you want to make sure you don't miss the updates, the subscribe button is just below the like button. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.